Sometimes life gets in the way and students end up falling behind in their classes. The trouble is that many of those students do not know how to respond to this situation in a way that gets them back on track for success. So I'm here to give you some tips on how to swing back when you're falling behind. As Theodore Roosevelt once said, the worst thing you can do is nothing. My first swinging back tip is to email your professors and teaching assistants as soon as you feel you may need help. Whether you've missed an assignment, did not understand course material, or have a poor attendance record, your professor or TA may be able to help you or work out some kind of special arrangement. Even if they can't, at least you'll know, and they may be able to help you avoid making the same mistakes in the future or direct you to other university resources. It is very important to reach out as soon as you feel you may need help, because the more time that you give yourself and your instructors to work with, the greater chance there will be that you get back on track. Sometimes there is one root issue that will leach negativity into other aspects of our lives. In those situations, it's best to approach swinging back by dealing with that problem. You can do this in a couple of different ways, depending on what your trouble is. If you are going through a personal challenge, mental health struggles, or issues with family, you can utilize campus resources such as the Carruth Center. The Carruth Center may be able to help you get a grace period on assignments if you are going through some personal struggles in addition to supporting you through that struggle. If you find that the issue is more of a problem with your mindset or routine, try to think of some new ways to get yourself back into a productive groove. Some of my favorite tricks are reorganizing my room, changing up my gym times, and just hopping in the car or PRT and going for a ride to nowhere. My final tip for swinging back when you're falling behind is to consider dropping a class or extracurricular activities. Withdrawing from a class after the add drop period does result in a W going on your transcript and makes you ineligible for semester honor rolls. However, in some cases, this may be in your best interest. If a specific class is causing you so much stress that it's impacting your performance in other classes and in daily life, you may want to consider whether or not it would be worth dropping it and taking it over the summer or next semester. Similarly, if you are involved in a lot of extracurricular activities, it's okay to take a break from them. If you hold an officer position and are worried about the time commitment it requires, there's no shame in being a club member the next year or passing the position on to someone who does have time for it. Your course load and involvement do not define you. It's important to remember that while high grades are a great way to showcase that you're learning, it's what you do with your knowledge that will really help you make your way in the world. Prioritize yourself and your health first. And remember that it's never too late to try to swing back when you're falling behind.